now we're starting structures okay so this is the first example we're using for a structure to introduce the the, the, the topic so we start with the include stdio.h now the way we start a structure we put str uct struct okay we're giving it a name it's just like we're, we're, we're declaring a variable we give uh, the type and then the name okay so now the structure name we call it is coordinates okay c o o r d s it could be anything okay and uh, we open it up with the curly brace as if we're defining a a or, de or declaring a or sorry defining a uh, function we start with a curly brace here and we say it has an integer type variable called x integer y okay so it's going to be holding x y positions okay and we close now what we do at the end is we put a a name that will borrow the structure of coordinates okay so this point holds the the the, the same values or the same structure as the word c o o r d s okay so now point also has an integer x and an integer y okay as part of its structure we also do another declaration now of struct chords and we call it tops therefore that means that we we're actually doing exactly the same as this structure of chords called tops so tops and point would be exactly the, the same okay the the same as in the structure of tops and the structure of point they will borrow the chords structure okay so they, they've got exactly the same and that's what we're saying here in this line once we've declared it we can actually make use of it just like we're defining a a variable so we, we now you know we can then start saying right a is an integer b is an integer c is an integer we we have the same type okay so tops is the same type as quads okay and top and and points is the same type as tops we it's just a different way of doing it instead of putting tops again or write rewriting the whole thing we just write this like this one line now. okay so now we define main we open up main we don't need to put this integer here and we can say point dot x now we're referring to the x part of the structure so we put the, the a dot in the, in the center there so we put point dot x equals 5 so now we're putting 5 the value inside x and now we put another point dot y and we put 8 so now we're putting inside the structure of point there is a y element and an x and x we're giving it the value of 5 and then y we're giving it the value of 8 the way we refer to these two is that we put a full stop in the middle okay and that refers to this and that one refers to that y there okay so we gave it that value also now top it has the same structure as point but this time we have different values in this x and this y so now top has in its x it's got 16 and its y has 27 so they are borrowing the same uh, or inheriting is another word we can say inheriting the same structure as point and it has it in tops and it uses the same x and y but now it's a different different values okay so now we're going to print the two out and see what happens here so we say point x percent d because we want integer and point y percent d because uh, another integer and we put say we say what's the value of point dot x point dot y and we do the same for top x and y so top dot x and top dot y and it should print the different values okay because it has a different value inside the x and its y right so let's have a look at that and see it running we say build okay 
it says aborting compiler okay it says line 14 top not found so let's have a look at w what happened here uh, it's got like that so we say top top you see where we made a mistake it says tops here okay so we can say uh, tops we can change this and put an s here or we can just delete the s in there so we're going to delete the s and call it a top okay we're going to save it and we're going to compile build okay so it's completed it worked fine so now what we're going to do we're going to go to um, the command prompt and we're going to say we've put it into structure structure so we, we have to get out of this particular directory and change it to structure and we call it struct it tells us here um, top point x is 5 point y is 8 so we put 5 and 8 yep that's correct x was 5 here and y was there was 8 and we say top was 16 and and y was 27 16 and 27 so it has two different coordinates on on the graph the point y and x the initial ones and the top point of of y and x as well okay so that that concludes the first introduction to structures okay we're going to go move on to defining type structures in in this in the next section